Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus by Barbara Park, published by Random House. Chapter 2, Feeling Squeezy. I stayed scared about the bus for a whole week, and last night when my mother tucked me into bed, I still felt sickish about it. Guess what, I said. I don't think I want to ride the school bus to kindergarten tomorrow. Then my mother rumpled my hair. Oh, sure you do, she said. Oh, sure I don't, I said back. Then mother kissed me and said, it'll be fun. You'll see. Just don't worry. I did, though. I worried very much, and I didn't sleep so good either. And this morning, I felt very droopy when I got up, and my stomach felt squeezy, and I couldn't eat my cereal. And so I watched TV until Mother said it was time to get ready to go. Then I put on my skirt that looks like velvet, and my new fuzzy pink sweater, and I ate half a tuna sandwich for lunch. After that, Mother and I walked to the corner to wait for the bus. And guess what? There was another mother and a little girl there, too. The little girl had curly black hair, which is my favorite kind of head. I didn't say hello to her, though, because she was from a different street, that's why. Then finally, this big yellow bus came around the corner, and the brakes screeched very loud. I had to cover my ears. Then the door opened, and the bus driver said, Hi, I'm Mr. Wu. Hop on! Except I didn't hop on, because my legs didn't want to. I don't think I want to ride this bus to kindergarten, I told Mother again. Then she gave me a little push. Go on, Junie B, she said. Mr. Wu is waiting for you. Be a big girl and get on. I looked up at the window. The little girl with the curly black hair was already in the bus. She looked very big sitting up there. I'm kind of happy. Look how big that little girl is acting, Junie B, said Mother. Why don't you sit right next to her? It'll be fun, I promise. And so I got on the bus, and guess what? It wasn't fun.